My Rams horns came in today. Sweet, my Rams horns came in from oliversaquatics.com. Are those Rams horns? Yeah, these are Rams horns. Do you know how to care for them? No, I don't know much about them. Well, sweet, let me help you out. <laughs> Rams horn snails, they are my favorite aquarium snail in this hobby. I've kept loads of different species of snails and they are by far, I believe, one of my favorites. Due to the fact they have so many color variations, they're extremely easy to keep, they keep algae on the low, and they're super beginner friendly. Sweet, so what should I feed them? That's actually a great question. See, ram torn snails actually eat a lot of different things. Many of these are gonna be on that herbivore diet like vegetables and fruits, including carrots, zucchini, celery, spinach, squash, apples, and pears. They've also been known to eat biofilm off of your glass and your assortment of aquarium decorations and substrate, algae, and algae wafers. If you want more color out of your ram's horn snails, I recommend feeding them some carrots every now and then as carrots will help the colors boost in your ram's horns. A thing for ram's horn snails when it comes to feeding them is if you feed more, even just more fish food to your fish, it's gonna give more ram's horn snails. So when you add more food, no matter what the type is, ram's horn food or not ram's horn food, you will get more ram's horns. So if you want less, then cut back on feeding, whereas if you want more, raise the feeding up. Will they eat my aquarium plants? No, they will not eat your aquarium plants. They'll eat the dying leaves or dead matter of the plant, but they will not eat your aquarium plants, healthy leaf or healthy growth. What should their temperatures be? Another thing that makes ram's horns so great is the fact that they can take their temperatures to the extreme. I have kept ram's horns in extremely cold water of underneath 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and then I've also kept ram's horns over 85 degrees Fahrenheit as they also lived in the native streams and ponds down in South Texas that would get that cold in the winter and in the summer. But if you want to breed them, I recommend keeping them in the range between 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Any more or less, you might not have the best breeding optimal conditions, but they will still grow for you just fine. You can have a lot of different tank mates with ram's horn snails, but I would avoid some of these ram's horn snails as they'd like to eat uh, ram's horn snails. That would be the assassin snail, any kind of freshwater pufferfish, uh, or any kind of large cichlid to where they would just fit right in their mouths, as ram's horn snails could be a great snack for your Oscars or your pufferfish. So don't go with any of those options and don't go with any assassin snails because, well, it's in their name, assassin snail. But in terms of tank mates, ram's horn snails can be kept with just about anything except for the fish that I had mentioned back in the previous clip. I got these pink ones on all over aquatics. Are there any other colors? Yeah, when it comes to ram's horn snails, there are a plethora of colors and variants. Leopard variants to all black, all white, all clear, pearl, pink, blood red, and a whole bunch of different other variations, such as mini and large there. So, Feel free to get yourself a whole bunch of different varieties of ram's horn snails. It's super cool and they're easy to breathe. Again, if you just wanna breathe them, just add more food. But here's another tip when it comes to breeding ram's horn snails. If you're breeding your ram's horn snails, you're gonna need some live plants. And if you need some top five beginner aquarium plants, you should check out that video. I'll see you there.